I found this barrel planter on the side of the road and turned it into a solar water feature. Let me show you how you can make one too. So we got a clear liner from Hobby Lobby to be able to fill up this wooden planter with water. Now you can use any pot, but if you want to get a wooden planter, I would suggest doing this so you don't ruin it. Then we went ahead and stapled the liner around to keep it up and from moving. And from there, you'll want to get a razor blade or scissors and cut all of the excess liner that is still attached. Now, I originally wanted like an antique water pump, but those were like $70 and I wasn't doing that. So this was like 20 bucks and it's all from Lowe's and you just piece together each part that you want and you're good to go. Cut the board that your plants and faucet will be sitting on. Drill the hole for your tube. Now this board for us isn't permanent. It's just to kind of get a rough draft of what I want it to look like. Pre-drill the holes. Here's our little helper today. The washers don't match. I know that it's not permanent. Don't clock me for that. Now we're filling up the jug with water, putting it into the car because we're driving all the way up to the front drive. And you're gonna place this wherever you want. Um, just realize that it was backwards. You need to flip it around, my bad. And I like the way that this looks, so I'm gonna move on to the plants. I got these at Lowe's, super cute. They were like 15 bucks. Love that they were also like a little barrel planter. Um, it definitely matched to the theme and I definitely wanted like green and like hanging plants and all that. So this, the way that it draped down, I loved it. It was the vibe. I got this solar fountain from Timu for like 12 bucks. Can't beat it. Now you're going to feed the tube through your faux fountain. We did have to deconstruct it a little bit to get it to come through. Um, and then that way it wouldn't like kink as well. And once it's all back together, you're going to tighten those bolts back up and feed that tube through the hole, the drilled hole that we put in there into the board. Again, this board is not permanent, it's fine. So now I'm gonna feed the solar panel through the back part of the board. I don't want that hanging off or being any, like super visible right now. And then you're gonna plug in the tube with the pump and then fill this thing with water. And there you have it, a solar water feature, something really fun, and you can get super creative with this, turn this into whatever you want it to look like, and you can keep this super low cost as well. Don't forget to put a stick in there for little bugs to get out, and I hope you like it. Let me know what you think.